Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. Hope you are all well and safe. Uh, I've got a question for you. Do you think a digital artist can learn from a traditional artist on YouTube? I think you can. Watch the video and find out who one of my favorite YouTubers is. I don't normally do this, but I want to show you how I set up my background when I'm working in Krita for a pastel painting, because I don't want a white background. So basic, ba basically, first of all, I want to change the background color. So usually the background layer is locked, I've unlocked that. And then I select a color uh, off the color wheel, and I want a nice sort of neutral, kind of blue for this and then go edit fill with foreground color and that gives me that nice sort of pastel looking color that i want for my pastel painting but i also want to put a texture to this and i like to use my own textures and these were actually scanned in from a full sheet of um, imperial sheet of arches watercolor paper so i can just drag that onto there and it will say insert as a new layer and i click ok and that's going to uh, overlay that you can see that nice grainy texture that i'm getting and then if i go to the uh, blend mode and just choose overlay there we go i've now got a nice background and i'm going to lock those two layers the background and uh, the paper layer now normally I would put the texture at the top uh, to keep that um, showing all the while I was painting but um, with pastels you get a nice texture anyway if I choose a pastel brush I'm going to work with the um, digital atelier brushes today if I choose a pastel let's go with this uh, basic pastel Oh, I really ought to change the color so we can see something. Uh, you can see I'm going to be painting these daffodils. So let's pick a, a yellow, make the bush a bit bigger. You get a nice texture anyway. So um, I'm going to work with those. Right, so having said that, let's get started because that was sort of, I just wanted to show you how I set um, the scene or the paper ready. For my pastels so i'm going to start with the sky uh, a lighter blue a bit lighter than that is that lighter than what we've got yeah cool and i'm just going to start brushing that in maybe a bit bigger brush if i can Want to sort of like sweeping strokes as though you're using the the full stick of pastel on that there we go and then i can shrink it down and vary it a little bit I sort of some smaller strokes in these uh now bush there we go sort of a green blue a bit darker than that just sort of getting some nice big strokes in to start with changing up that color a little bit some limey colors in as well This fence going in here. Like that. Got builders in next door. I hope you can't hear them too much. I can hear them banging. But I've got the uh, glazed doors shut, double glazed doors shut. So hopefully they won't um, annoy you too much. 
that needs to come way over here. I'm looking at the photo and that fence is almost on the third sort of there. Like that. Um, even more over than that. More like that, I think. I'm just quickly picking colours off the canvas. It's a good way of getting colours in really, really quick. Um, a little bit of red in there. Change the size of that brush a bit. Well, I've only used one brush so far, and it's uh, what have I done? What have I done? There we go, that's it. I think I'd pick the uh, picker then by mistake. I do like digital pastels. I, I think it's um, one of the best mediums for um, digital that looks just so natural. I came to it quite late, really. I didn't. Um, I didn't discover the pastel side of digital painting for quite a while. I'd been sort of concentrating on oil paints other than uh, pastels but now i've found them i just absolutely love love it One of my favorite YouTubers uh, is a guy called Alan Picard. Uh, and he's a traditional painter, he's not digital. And his pastels are just off the scale. They are stunning. And um, I've picked up a lot off it, off his videos. He's, is well he is my favorite um youtuber that does traditional painting and he's got a really relaxed style he's uh he's just so good in fact you know what uh, I, i'd love it if you went over to his channel and say uh steve sent me steve elliott sent me and maybe give him a like uh if you really like him subscribe that'd be really cool and I'll put a link in the description below for him because he is well worth watching. I I, um, I just love his paintings. He's they're so fresh and um, really cool. And you'll see that I've stolen lots of his techniques in my digital painting. But that's why we all watch YouTube, isn't it? To learn from others all the time. And... Um, you know, I think it's cool that you can watch a traditional painter and pick techniques off them and then transfer them those techniques to digital painting. Yeah, so check him out. Alan Picard is uh, really, really good.
nice thing about digital pastels is you do not need a palette of like a million pastels and you don't get loads and loads of dust everywhere I, I really like painting with pastels but they are extremely dusty and is a big clean up job every time you use them right let's start doing the dafts I'm thinking I've noticed I've only used one brush so far. Do I need to? Just wondering if I need to actually um, change brushes. I can see that's wrong, but you know, I'm going to, um, I'm going to work on it. Whoops, I've uh, picked the, uh, so if you press the P, uh, letter P, it goes to the picker. need a stem on this don't we bit more of a curve on it than that that's the one that's the one i want could probably make that a bit bigger actually let's um let's change the brushes we've got some blenders here haven't we let's do a little bit of uh smudginess go back in and, and rework some of this these are so cool Ramon I have to say you make some freaking awesome brushes these are the digital atelier uh, brushes if you haven't tried them they're well worth getting you get watercolor brushes oil brushes pastel brushes and they just totally transform critter into a top end painting app really i've said that before loads of times let's let's change brushes up a bit um What's this one? What's this pastel impact? That's nice. I can sort of add a little bit of uh, detail in there. They these will 
will be nice actually for um, detail in the DAFs, I think. Make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, like it. I'm going to zoom in on this uh, daffodil now. And I've got another reference image I can look at. I think that brush is a little bit big. Let's just make it a tad smaller. What I'm doing now, I'm just looking at highlights and sort of picking them out if I can, and then um, looking at shadows and adding those in a little bit. Got a bit of a shadow going off there, maybe a bit warmer. It. and then this can come all the way around here ah, a nice leaf no petal sorry petal shape I want to keep these brush strokes looking quite natural. Let's just blend that out a little bit. Yeah, that's it. I think it was that one I was using. Yeah. Oh, that's looking all right. I keep touching that, and then I want some sort 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 of shadow under there. That's it. So we've got that bell uh, look on the um, on the daff.
Um, a bit more orange, I think. Here we go. Right, I've just zoomed back out again so you can see uh, the full daffodil. And I want to get a, some uh, shadows around that a little bit. Let's choose a different brush. There we are. Oh, this one's quite nice. This is the six blocking brush. It's got a sort of a softness to it. Quite like that. I'm sort of chiseling to that duff a bit and then um, pick a yellow and, and then just sort of I like diffused edges and again this is something that I've picked up from uh, Alan Picard really watching his vids Get some green. Right, I'm now going to use the basic blend pastel number five. Oh, no, I don't like that. It's a bit too closed. I like the more open textures we got here. Pastel 3 Legacy. Oh, that's nice. Uh, wrong colour, though. I'm, I kind of need to get this fence back in. Maybe like that a bit. But leave this stem. That's what I want to do. I'm conscious this is looking a little bit laboured and I need to not do that. I don't want this sort of laboured look about this fence. So, just soften off some of those colours. Let's make a really fine brush. I wonder if I put some almost white. It's too much. Yeah. 
Oh, didn't mean to do that. You're sort of adding little bits of yellow then going over them so they just kind of glow through a little bit. And add a little bit of magic to the whole thing. light coming through the trees now I do the opposite of the sort of branches maybe Like that. Oh. Actually, you know, I quite like that colour on the dap, it sort of adds a bit of magic. Yeah. Getting close to having something finished, I think. That was wrong. Let's let's get some sort of bigger bushes of colour in there. Oh, man. Bit too heavy that, maybe a bit too big. Let's just take it down a bit. I don't want these daffs to have any detail detail in them at all, really. I don't think that's necessary. There we go. Just little strokes. This would be nice to actually do as a um a, pa a traditional pastel i'm thinking a little bit green that no it's too warm can you just fry it about Oops. Bit 
bit mechanical. Can't have that. Hmm. Like that. I need a bit of a shadow just there. At my source photo, and also we've got little bits of highlights there and there. Like that might be a bit too much. That's it, that's better. There. That's not too shabby. You look at, you know, you look at a flower and you think, oh yeah, that's yellow. But in actual fact, when you look close, there's like thousands of colors in there. And you just got to look really close and pick them out and pop them in. I think that'll do. Do we need to put sort of a bit more of an indication of a flower just here? Maybe just add to it and put them a little bit further along. More grasses. B. Bigger brush strokes in there. I think I'm getting really, really close to finishing this. I could keep going. I could, but I should stop. Don't like that bit. Let's get that one done. Hmm. Stop, Steve.
stop. I think you are pretty much there. Don't spoil it. So easy. That fence in there. Just knock it back a little bit. Bit too in your face. I think I've done it. I think I've finished. Let me get this one signed. I'll use the pastel pencil. Let's sign it with a yellow. A little bit bigger, perhaps. Got to satisfy the ego. There we go. So there we are, uh, a little daffodil painting in Krita using digital atelier pastels. So there's a borrowing loads of techniques from a guy called Alan Picard. Check out his channel, give him a thumbs up. Say I tell him I sent you, that would be awesome. If you've enjoyed the video, this video, give me a thumbs up as well, much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And don't forget everybody, Stay safe, stay sane, and keep painting. And hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.